Thank you. I would be happy to take any questions. I think you have to hit the microphones there, too. Yes. Hi. Um, most Israelis draw upon the literature of the African-American movement to understand their own problems with race in Israel. And most Israelis admit that there are serious race problems, whether it has to do with Arabs, whether they be Muslim, Christian, or Jewish, or Israeli minorities, Sephardi, or Mizrahi. So considering all this overwhelming evidence and worldwide opinion which tends to claim that Israeli society is racist because it's founded on principles of Zionism and Zionism is both racist and exclusionary like apartheid. How can you as a scholar and an advocate for civil rights justify your unwillingness to associate Zionism with racism? Easy. I've done enough research to know that it's not true. Uh, that's, that's the short answer. And the second answer is that I think it's been debated in the world community uh, and, as it was debated last month. Uh, and I think that if we decide that equating Zionism with racism will get us somewhere in solving the problems of racial discrimination, racial domination, and racial super superiority in the world, that would be very helpful. I, I am, I am as, as disheartened as anyone to see the suicide bombings, the attacks by police uh, on young uh, men and women and children, uh, the daily destruction, uh, and it seems to me that as we try that with UN Resolution 3379 years ago to try to solve the problem in a political way, and I don't think that begins to address the complexity uh, of Israel uh, and the complexity of the problems there. I do believe, as we argued um, when we were in South Africa, I do believe that this country uh, should have long time ago uh, with the new administration uh, tried to have a serious dialogue and play an important role in making sure that the two countries are uh, making some progress, uh, that they need to talk about redrawing some boundaries, they need to respect the rights of the Palestinian nation uh, as well as the rights of the uh, uh, Israeli nation. Uh, and I think that uh, it is one of the most complex problems of the 21st century, but it's not the only problem. It's not the only problem. And I think that uh, even if we declared what you would like me to declare, it, I don't think that it would make an ounce of difference. And what I fear is what I said before, that if we think that the world problem is Israel, we are really missing the opportunity to confront the complexity and the enormity of a host of other problems uh, that have nothing to do with Israel or nothing to do with the Palestinians or nothing to do with the Middle East. Uh, there's a lot of other world problems out there. I'm, I'm overwhelmed by... What's going on in China? I'm overwhelmed that China executes more people every year uh, and one year in China than the rest of the world executes collectively. Uh, I, I'm overwhelmed by the fact that uh, we don't uh, seem to be concerned about that as a problem. Uh, I'm troubled by the fact that uh, there are health problems that we could de directly solve, world health problems that we address at this conference, and we haven't done it because American Pharmaceutical companies keep saying we need a profit for our drugs as opposed to we want to use our medication to treat those children who are dying because they don't have uh, fresh water or clean water uh, or other issues. So uh, it, I, I, if I thought that that statement would even come close to beginning to solve the problem, we could have a serious debate about it. I'm not convinced that that will solve the problem.